सर देखिए मुझे क्या मिला क्या है वर्नियर कैलिपर इसे हम ना कुछ भी मेजर कर सकते हैं एग्जैक्टली exactly. जैसे कि मैंने ये नाप लिया okay. है ना ये नाप लिया okay. और जूता नाप लिया जूता 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 नाप लिया अरे दिया था यार द डिवाइस डेट यू सॉ फ्यू सेकंड्स अगो इज नोन एज ए वर्नियर कैलिपर दिस डिवाइस वॉज इन्वेंटेड इन एटीन फिफ्टी वन बाई समन नेम जे आर ब्राउन एंड द पर्पज ऑफ दिस डिवाइस इज टू गिव एन अफोर्डेबल वे टू मेजर लेंथ विद हाई एक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई वॉन्ट टू मेजर द लेंथ ऑफ दिस एंड दिस बाई द वे आर नोन एज द जॉज ऑफ द वर्नियर कैलिपर यू कैन ओपन दम ओके यू फिट द ऑब्जेक्ट बिटवीन द जॉज ओके and this is how the uh, how the device would look uh, during the measurement purpose okay and these are the scales on the front side of this okay uh, if i remove this uh, this one is known as the main scale and the scale below is known as the vernier scale now as you see the readings are not very clear on this perspective so let's move on to a simulations where i can teach you better how to understand how the calculations work kya le hari bhai okay so vernier calipers will have a mean scale that goes from 0 1 2 3 and so on and this is just like any other scale so this length right here from 0 to 1 is 1 cm this is 2 cm this is 3 cm and so on you will see the mean scale have uh, 10 divisions between any two readings so between 0 and 1 there are a total of 10 divisions meaning ki these smaller divisions in the main scale will give me 1 mm each so 1 mm 2 mm 3 mm 4 mm and hence you get 0.5 which is essentially uh 5 mm in length now how do i use this uh this vernier caliper goes like this you can whatever you're trying to measure at the bottom this is where you keep a spherical ball a cylinder or any other kind of stuff that you want to measure and you move this scale around now you will notice ki there is a zero at the bottom and this by the way is known as the vernier scale the bottom one is the vernier scale the zero of this vernier scale actually acts like a pointer okay so for example if you are measuring something and your reading comes somewhere around here now you will see ki this pointer or the zero of the vernier scale is exactly coinciding with one meaning that the length right here is actually 1 cm similarly if i plug in uh, if i get like this so this length right here is now 2 cm now this is what a normal scale does so why the, is this a fancy equipment well it also helps me understand like for example if you get something like this you know ki this is not 20 mm neither it is 21 it's somewhere in between it's like 20 point something This is where the vernier cal caliper is very very useful because in between these readings also like between 2 mm and 20 uh, sorry 20 mm and 21 mm is going to exactly tell me what this value is okay but for that we need to know some basics okay so let's first start with taking a picture of this part so you can see in the initially initially the zero of the main scale and the zero of the vernier scale is coinciding Okay, so I'm gonna take a screenshot right here. Okay, and I'm gonna save it for later for the calculations. Okay, so but uh, the thing is, just notice this: that zero and zero are colliding. When 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 the zero of a vernier scale and the main scale coincide, we say that there is no error in the equipment. If, for example, uh, let's say that uh, it's shifted towards the right. So let me let me let me uh, move the simulation rightwards. Uh, give me one second. Okay. So sometimes what happens is, for example, you will notice that this device now has some zero error. So when I go to the uh, when I close the vernier calipers, here it should have shown me zero reading because this is essentially zero reading. Okay, but you see that the zero are, zeros are not colliding. It already has some reading. Okay, so we call this kind of zero error positive zero error that means at 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 zero itself it's showing some reading that means it has positive zero error and at the end you need to subtract this error on the other hand there could also be a situation when your uh, you know zero is actually to the left of this main scale the zero of vernier scale is to the left of the main scale in that case what we have is something called the negative zero error and there are ways to uh, you know get rid of these errors and i'll tell you the calculations in a bit so let's quickly take some screenshots and move on to a different screen where i can explain the mechanics and the logic behind this okay 
let's go okay so let's start our story from this this is the standard configuration of a errorless vernier caliper you'll see here that the zero of the vernier scale right here is coinciding with the zero of the main scale you'll also notice one thing that there are 10 divisions in the vernier scale so there are 10 divisions in vernier scale let me write write it down okay uh, similarly there are also you know 10 divisions in the main scale there are 10 divisions in the main scale okay but one thing you need to notice is that 10 divisions of the vernier scale is actually coinciding with the nine divisions of main scale so that means whatever this length is whatever this length is it's gonna be common for both but the number of divisions are different so i would write like something like this 10 uh, divisions in the vernier cell or uh, there's a uh, there's a way to write this set 10 vsd and this stands for vernier scale divisions is equal to 9 msd that means there are nine main scale divisions which coincide with 10 vernier scale divisions now it's easy to calculate this one why because we know that one division right here because it's a standard scale this length is one millimeters so if i have nine divisions in this this total length right here becomes nine millimeters okay so what i'm going to do is write something like this so 10 vernier scale divisions is actually 9 into 1 mm the reason for that is one main scale division is 1 mm so from a simple calculation 1 vsd and this you this is unitary method i just divide by 10 on both sides give me 9 by 10 mm which is essentially 0 0.9 mm okay so the fun thing about a vernier scale let me erase all of this is the simple fact that this one division instead of being 1 mm is just 0.9 mm okay it's just 0.9 mm now how does it help us let's move forward and figure it out so let's say you put something right here and you got a reading something like this so for example you have a pencil of a kind you plug between the vernier calipers and uh, it fit in such a way that the zero of the vernier scale is somewhere between 10 mm and and this is the main scale so this is obviously one centimeter or 10 mm and this is 11 mm but you know that this zero is neither coinciding with uh, 10 mm or 11 mm so your answer will lie somewhere between 10 mm and 11 mm so your answer would be something like 11.5 11.6 or something like that and how do i find that there is a very awesome process to find that okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for a situation okay where the main scale and the vernier scale divisions are coinciding so if i start counting from here so i know that zero obviously is not coinciding with anything one is not coinciding two is not coinciding three is coinciding that's awesome okay so if i find out this this distance and the distance from here till here i'll find something that is very useful to me so let me find out a different color to figure the distance out now this is the distance that i was initially looking for right so if i erase all of this again you'll be able to understand see i already know the length of this whatever we are measuring right here is 10 mm up to here i need to figure out how much distance is this small distance to figure that out what i'm going to use is i'm going to find out what is the distance from here till here and here till here and if i subtract both of them if i subtract both of them i'll essentially get what is this green distance and that is what i'm looking for now finding out this distance is very very easy because i know in the main scale this is one mm okay so this is one two three so three into one mm gives me three mm so this total length right here is three mm okay uh, whereas i also have the same three divisions one two three three divisions in the vernier scale but remember in vernier scale it's 0.9 mm so three into 0.9 mm gives me a uh, 2.7 mm essentially okay so this small green distance that i need to uh, that i needed to add right there is actually 3 mm minus 2.7 mm giving me 0. 0.8 mm now this helps me to find out the actual length of this which is going to be 10 mm plus 0.3 mm giving me 10.3 mm 
okay now your question would be ki every time i look at the vernier cal uh, caliper do i need to do all these calculations the answer is no we have made a uh, simpler formulas to work this out but i did this uh, so as because you needed to understand the logic on which vernier caliper works but uh, how do we actually calculate it there is a shortcut to doing that and that i'm going to discuss next okay so for using this shortcut you have to find something called the least count okay and this is nothing but this is 1 minus main scale divisions divided by vernier scale division now what this formula means is that first you need to uh, find out ki what number of vernier scale divisions or main scale divisions is uh, you know coinciding with the vernier scale divisions at the start so if you remember in the initial picture there were nine uh, you know main scale divisions were coinciding with 10 uh, vernier scale divisions so if i plug in these values this becomes 1 minus 9 by 10. 9 main scale divisions coincide with 10 vernier scale divisions. This gives me the least count of this device. And how, uh, how much is that? It's 1 tenth of a millimeter. It's 1 tenth of a millimeter. So after you find out the least count, whenever you get a reading like this, all you have to do is first, so the steps are this, first check MSD. Okay, first check main scale division. So immediately you're going to know the length. Okay, so this length obviously is going to be 10 millimeters. This is 10 millimeters. It's easy to find and it's just like any other normal scale. That's the pointer is beyond one. So I know okay, this is 10 mm plus something. The hard part is finding out the next bit in which you have to remember this formula. Key next you have to locate which vernier scale division is coinciding with the main scale and uh, we know from this problem that this is the third one so this is the formula that you have to use main scale division okay main scale reading my bad main scale reading plus least count multiplied by vernier scale divisions vernier scale division this is the formula you're going to use so if i use this formula right here so the main scale reading is 10 mm okay and we found out the least count for this device is 1 by 10 millimeters okay and the coinciding vernier scale divisions is 3 now if you plug that in you get 10 plus 0 0.3 that gives me the exact same result that's 10.3 millimeters okay so that's how you find out the reading in a vernier scale uh let's quickly check whether you understood uh how to use a vernier calipers for this i have taken some random readings let's try to figure out what are these readings okay so uh, what you can do is pause and quickly find your answer and then check whether the answer is correct or not so for this one uh we can see key from here till here it's already four millimeters right uh i need to figure out how much this distance is so i know zero is not coinciding one two three four five and six is six divisions is where i see a direct coincide uh, coinciding okay so that means it will be four mm from the main scale plus least count of this device which is same as one by ten into uh six divisions right so that's four mm plus 0.6 mm giving me 4.6 mm as the length okay let's try to figure out the next one this next one uh there are uh, so this is one centimeter right here so the total length from here till here is 1.2 uh, centimeters so that's uh 12 millimeters essentially so in the main scale is already telling me ki it's 12 millimeters long and plus something else from the vernier scale so i see ki the eight vernier scale division is coinciding with the main scale right so that means 12 mm plus one tenth of eight divisions so that's 12 millimeters plus 0.8 giving me 12.8 mm as the answer ah, okay so in this last question uh this length from here till here is uh, let's say this is 15 16 17 18 and 19 so you will notice in the main scale there are 19 divisions so that's 19 millimeter right there so i have to add 19 millimeter to one tenth that's the least count and you will notice key the first division of the vernier scale itself uh, coincides with the main scale so that's just one right there so the answer would be 19. 
one millimeter. Okay, so if you got all your answers correctly, congratulations, you know how to use a Fournier calculator. Let's quickly talk about zero error. As I have told you before, positive zero error is when the zero of the vernier scale is actually to the right of the zero of the main scale. Okay. Now this would mean ki even before I started measuring the length of something, the scale is showing me some reading. Okay. And I'm going to use the same exact process to find out MSR, uh, the main scale reading plus the least count into uh, the vernier scale uh, reading okay so the main scale reading right here is zero so zero plus uh, the least count for this device is one by ten and the vernier scale uh, divisions right here is if you check this uh, you'll see you'll see the sixth division sixth vernier scale division is coinciding with the main scale so i will write six here so that means in the beginning itself uh, we have a reading of 0.6 mm okay so uh, the scale which was supposed to start from 0 mm it actually starts from 0.6 mm and what do i have to do at the end like for example if you measure something and you get your answer as let's say 2.6 mm using this faulty equipment you started measuring something and you get he, uh, the, uh, the, the length of that uh, object in this faulty equipment is 2.6 mm. Remember ki you started with, out with a scale that was already giving you 0 0.6 without anything, right? So 2.6 is a faulty reading. So you have to subtract 0 0.6 extra uh, reading which was there in the beginning itself, giving me uh, 2 mm as the answer. So negative zero error is actually the opposite of positive zero error as in the vernier scale zero will be to the left of the main scale zero okay now uh, the formula for finding out the reading for the vernier scale is main scale reading plus least count into vernier scale reading okay but one thing you might have noticed from before is that this main scale reading is always to the left of the vernier scale right but uh, so we have to imagine something right here. So let's say this is 1 mm to the right. Okay. So obviously from logic, this would be minus 1 mm from uh, from the uh, to the to the left. Okay. Minus 1 mm to the left. Now, the reason I'm doing this, this MSR, the, uh, the main scale reading is not to the right of the vernier scale. It's always to the left of the uh, vernier scale. So I'm going to imagine minus 1 right there and I'm going to write it here. So minus 1 is the uh, is the reading in the main scale plus least count which is 1 by 10 and you will notice the vernier scale reading is uh, 4 right here. So the fourth division is actually coinciding with the main scale that gives me 4 divisions right there. So that's minus 1 plus 0 0.4 okay. So that gives me uh, the reading of minus 0 0.6 millimeters. So this is a faulty equipment, okay, which instead of starting at 0 mm, it is starting at minus 0 0.6 mm. So anything that you are measuring using this faulty device will always be under measured. Okay, it will always be under measured. So for example, if you're uh, using this faulty device, if the reading for a particular body comes out to be 3 mm, you have under measured it. Okay, because instead of uh, starting at zero, your scale started at minus 0.6. So you are under measuring this to compensate for this. You have to add this zero error at the end. So if you have a negative zero error, add it at the end and this becomes 3.6 mm. So your true value or your correct reading would actually be 3.6 mm. Okay, so to summarize, if you have a positive zero error, so let me write this down. So if you have a positive zero error and you know how to find that out, okay, you have to subtract at the end. So you have to subtract at the end. And when I say at the end, I mean key when if you want, if you're trying to find out the actual or the true uh, measurement, you have to subtract the positive zero after you find out the reading. If you have a negative zero error, negative zero error and again i taught you how to find out negative zero error you have to add this reading at the end of the experiment okay so when you have when you're measuring using uh, a equipment that has negative zero error that whatever negative zero error you get you have to add at the end okay so with that i'd like to conclude keep having a good day okay and keep working hard bye bye